This is the Devil's Details on Reaper One Skull. So this quest is a little bit easier than the first two that have mobs and mobs of demons. So I'm going to go ahead and run this one on Reaper One Skull. It's still challenging compared to, say, the Giant Hold quests. Uh, not all level 13 quests are the same difficulty. They're you know the same level, but in terms of difficulty, you know, it varies a little bit. So a lot of the newer quests tend to be harder than the older quest. There are some exceptions to that, but this is one that's clearly, um, it's not super new, but it's its on the newer side and it's tougher than, much tougher than the Giant Hold quest in general. Even this one is tougher than the Giant Hold quest, but I think, uh, you know, it's more doable on Reaper. The other, the other um, quest, I mean, not to say I, you know, I couldn't have completed on Reaper. I think, you know, it's sort of a toss up. I, you know, I might've been able to complete it might have taken me a couple times, but basically the mobs of demons a with some champions and one plague reaper fortress. could certainly wipe me out. This must be the hidden entrance. The and with hundreds of caught. monsters, it's just you know so likely that I would encounter you know some sort of lethal situation, and whether or not I can get back to a shrine or you know survive it. Uh, certainly, uh, my experience is that if hireling inside the fortress. Uh, now to investigate okay, so Eritracos these plan. archers are much more lethal than what you're probably used to up to this point on, on this difficulty. So let me get their attention and just get an idea for what they're hitting for. Twelve, right? So, I mean, it's not super bad. It's not like a melee, um, but it's... But it's certainly worse than what we're seeing. You can see the kind of damage I'm taking here. All right, and um, it's the combination of all these like little tens, right? So from all these different enemies, it just adds up. That's the issue with it. So this chain, more than probably any other chain, besides maybe Temple of Elemental Evil, uh, you know, has some pretty intense range damage, both in terms of mostly it's you know the hits are just a little bit bigger but there's also a lot of you know a lot of uh hits so the combination is tough but not not too bad it's worse on epic all right and so but but still that's a lot easier than dealing with a mob of 12 demons that are knocking you down and you know, the, the casters are still tough here, but the demons that, you know, knock you down, Polaraya for 500 plus, that's much tougher. Okay, so this room, there's some Abishai in here. I don't see any Abishai. So I'm going to back up a little bit here. All right. Hoping to get this guy down here. He's hitting me for some pretty heavy damage, but... He's a demon soul, I need to get him quick. The devils pour their teeth on slaves here in the depths of their citadel. Just want to kind of get a lay of the land here and also be close enough to the door to kind of retreat if I need to. And I know from experience, right, so if I go too far there, there's some there's some troglodytes that are going to spawn. If I go too far ahead, there's two casters that are going to spawn. So, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to uh, try to get this guy with my bow, so I don't, so I don't bring the troglodytes over. And then once he's down, I'm going to go go after those two casters. You know, the worst case scenario is when people are like running around in here. You get all the archers hitting you. You get both the casters up, and then you get a bunch of troglodytes coming after you. So, you know, it's 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 a good. This is a good quest not to move around too much in and try to control the flow a little bit. All right, so now I guess we could just probably charge over here. Here, here comes the troglodytes. Worked out okay. Then 
again, even at this level, um, I'm really liking this Ring of the Mire for the six, for the spear block. So, yeah, I'm taking like eight to ten an arrow, but could you imagine if it was like 14 an arrow, 14 to 16 an arrow? So, it's still a big help. Uh, you know, as it goes up, as we go up levels, spear block becomes a pretty useless item, but right now, it's still helpful. And I find it more useful than axe, axe block because, like with axe block, axe block, you know, you get fewer hits, but they're for more damage. So six off of 50 is not a big deal, but six off of 16 is a big deal, percentage-wise. All right, so, so far so good. All right, I'm going to solve this thing backwards. So in this case, now we have two places it can go. So I'm going to go this way and this way. The and if there's other solutions open, to this, you know, it's sort of somewhat random. I'm not sure how many waters. solutions. I'm going to have the hireling give me some spell points back because I used a lot of self-healing there. And this is not the toughest, we're not at the toughest part of this quest yet. The toughest part of this quest is there's one particular staircase that's a little challenging. Uh, and then the end fight itself is very challenging. So there's a pretty cool ax. I mean, I think I'm all set up for swords. I don't there's, have a way to get an ax as a favored weapon. I think dwarves should be able to get an ax as a favored weapon, but even they can't get an ax as a favored weapon. Unless it's in their racial tree. Uh, let's see. All right, we've got a champion. We've got three Abishai. And then we've got up the stairs a bunch of troglodytes there. So what we don't want to do is charge this room because they're all going to come at us. So I'm going to try to get a couple of these Abishai. There we go. See if I could drag them back. These Abishai are especially brutal on the Hireling. They do a lot of fire damage. I think I could evade most of it. So you can see that I'm evading it entirely. All right, so I nailed him, so he should be coming. Hopefully I got him angry enough to come after. Got to keep my Hireling from charging that room. And it's going to take a little longer, but I just need to be patient here. And I think the other option I have is just basically keep on, keep on firing. I mean, because they're not really doing much damage to me, and I don't see anything else really activated. So, if they don't want to come down, I will just, I could just shoot them from up here. And these are the same kind of red Abishai that are in Chronoscope. Except they do, you know, Reaper level damage. Alright, so we got the Abishai down, so that's the first threat. Now I'm going to try to bring some of these marksmen here. There are some casters back there. I'm hoping they won't get activated, but yep, they're activated. So we get ready for a big fight, and I better get my hireling some heals. That sounds like a caster. All right, well, we got both casters here. They're stunning me right away, so right away I want to get them. Getting them out of the way is actually a huge bonus. Even if the range don't want it. So now I feel a little more comfortable kind of going counterclockwise around the room that I probably won't activate the hirelings. I'm going to use my divine retribution on this guy. Alright, so the room is clear except for this upstairs. So I'm going to go up and um, see if I can't get these troglodytes. 
Oops, I'm a little pinned in here. Gonna have to heal myself. Alright, well my holy retribution was off a timer, that helped. Alright, so Alright, so this gate here has three lights or you know that get lit up by uh, with some levers. Two are on this side, one is on this side. I'm gonna do this side first because there's a shrine on there's actually a shrine on both sides. This one is a fight that you have to fight to get to it, and this one is is just on the way to completing the quest objective. So I'm gonna do this one first and um because I think I could make it all the way back without having to use the shrine. This is the area I was telling you about that is a little on the tougher side. So not this first area. Um, this area is, has its challenge too. I'm glad that tr troll went down because they hit hard. All right. You can see the damage is, you know, compared to giant hole. Right, these guys are just doing a lot more damage. And so it's, 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 uh, you know, honestly, a giant hold in retrospect, I think I probably could have done some of that on, on Reaper 2 pretty easily, but I'm just sort of kind of changing my focus more to getting to 20 and, uh, you know, starting my epic, epic work. back up because there's another room that has enemies and uh, I don't want to get both rooms. Uh, it looks like I did anyways. All right, well, that's okay because my Divine Retribution's off timer. I only didn't make it, so I'm going to have to self-heal through this. Let me do this. Let me try to get him up, or her up, rather. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely encouraged with the build that when the hireling goes down, I'm not, I mean, there was a few level ranges where the hireling went down and I, w I pretty much was going down. But now it's like I can survive a lot of the situations. All right, so I need to get the hireling up again still. Use my uh, lay on hands if I have to. All right, now let's... So, I mean, you can see that that didn't really happen in Giant Hold, where the mob would just basically, like, one-shot my hireling with, with acid or whatever. So, I probably need to, um, let's see how many spell points the hireling could give me, because I probably need to give it acid. I probably need to renew things on myself, too, but I'm hoping to get the most I can out of these two minutes. Alright, so let me give her acid and fire and acid. And I'll need to renew myself in a couple minutes. And so we have one lever down and this this is to me the toughest area. And so I'm gonna basically draw them back. That's just what I'm gonna do. This is what I usually do. Draw them back here. Get the hireling back. The whole idea is to kind of avoid some archer damage while we're doing these melee. So the hireling just doesn't get those kind of things. You can't explain it to the hireling. And then... Uh, And then here's this. Here's a very scary mob coming up. This door should open. Wow, champions! Couple trolls, couple champions. So we're gonna back them up. And 
him. I'm kind of worried about getting one shot here. I think, let's see if I can get this troll. There's a champion troll too, so I don't want to waste my divine or my holy retribution. Here's the champion. Here's who I want to use that on. All right, so now I need to get this guy. All right, got the champion down, so now it should be a little more routine. And all my resists are wearing off. All right, so one more. All right. So let's see, I'm gonna give myself all the resists. I think I'll be able to make it to the uh, shrine okay, if I don't die. All right, there's, I'm gonna see what, what the hireling can give me just so I know what, how many spell points I have to work with for the shrine. This is probably, I'm guessing the hireling won't be able to, yeah, it's done, hireling's done. So I have 200 spell points to get me through to the shrine, so I have to be very, very careful. All right, here's one marksman. Right. And let's see what we have for this room. If I need to back up or just, just go in. Should be okay, let's see. So I'm gonna try to... Didn't get as many as I thought. Alright, so now I'm, gonna, now I'm gonna run down. Let's bring the hireling down. Let's see what I can do down here. I think there's a champion in here somewhere. The hireling is not like not, does not like any of it. So one more holy. All right, so that helped holy retribution. And so part of backing up was just to buy time to get that holy retribution, which I desperately needed. All right. So this, not to say that it's a guarantee that we'll complete the quest, but this to me is the hardest part of the quest. Uh, the end fight's also tough. The boss hits really hard. That's also a, a concern. A succubus speaks with an Arenahes in the corridor below. But there's a shrine Hi, nearby. Hathera, says the succubus. We're leaving. Eretrakos has ordered us to accompany him. All right, so that's... that's uh, oh, that's not quite right. We, it was mandatory to do that approach Eritrakos. and kind You'll of get that... Uh, right here. Get that started. Now, stay to the left here, and you'll avoid that gate opening. If you get too close, it'll open up and they'll start attacking you. At least it used to. I don't know if that's changed. I just always avoid it. All right, so now that's two levers. We just have one more to do on the other side. Uh, actually, it's not a lever. It's a puzzle on the other side. And then we're, we're through the gate to the end fight. And this this is the, going, especially going this way, this is the hardest uh, yeah, you know, there's a shrine towards the end fight, so if we can make it to this shrine, we should be fine for the next one. And I'm probably going to ditch these wands. I think they've... Alright, so this this particular fight here is a little on the tough side. Uh, let me kind of get fully buffed here. I mainly want to get the troll. Oh, I did that wrong. Alright, so... Get a little spell points. Alright, well, control's down now. Alright, so... We still have quite a bit of fighting to do. I uh, would love to have a little more spell points. You know, I should really have my, uh... I should really be wearing or have my Twisted Talisman from Red Fence here. That gives me 100 spell points at a cost of some uh, hit points. But I mean, I could just, you know, with the spell points, I can get all the those hit points have back. Been researching some arcane topic here. Well, that was less than effective. All right. I need, 
I need iron. Oh boy. All right, I need to get iron up. And I only have 90 spell points left. And I need. I need. All right, so I'm gonna wait. Almost got a divine holy retribution up. I need to. All right, so I'm gonna have to wait until my Holy Retribution's back before I move forward here, because uh, 72 spell points, I need to do a really good job going forward. How many spell points does this, does this require any? No. I think I am gonna use my wand to heal up Iron there, but I'm about ready to retire it. Um, my Cure Light does better at this point. All right, so my it's off a timer. I'm gonna try to get this next mob. We've got like I think about two or three more mobs to go. All right, let's. Oop, and I had my wand, so it didn't wasn't very effective. All right, let's. I runs out of spell points entirely, so maybe it was a bad call to. Hope this holy retribution does its job. Because Iron is down for the count. Alright, I got lay on hands I could use. Alright. I guess it's run around in circles maybe and holy retribution again. And then one heal myself up. Pretty rough here. Let's see. All right, so I'm gonna get Iron up. I don't think she really has enough spell points to do anything, but she could basically run interference for me at least. And I guess the, the wands are good for this, conserving just a little bit of spell points. I still have four lay on hands. And so I'm going to need to make really, really good use of my Holy Retribution to get through this. Don't know if I, Iron could even spare a Cure Light at this point. This is a very slow, painful way to replenish spell points. Let me see if um, her thing recharges at all. Nope. Because the other option would be, you know, it's a little risky because I could just wipe the whole quest here now. But you can see why I didn't do the other ones. This is the easiest of the three, and this has been quite a challenge. Although I may have made a bad call by not opening up the shrine on the other side. And I think at this point, I don't know which is, I think it might be easier to just get this this shrine at this point rather than the other one because there's a boss fight at the other one. All right, let's see how this goes. And this is strictly just an issue with spell point. You know, and this is sort of my mistake. I should have probably cleared this first. All right, so I'm going to see what I can do here. So she's at least uh, distracting them a little, and I'm gonna have some Abishai. Let's see. There we go. And let's see, I'm gonna try to, oh, famine. Let's see, is the shrine open yet? Nope. Yep, it is, so that's good news at least. What a bad time for the famine reaper.
<laughs> so talk about barely making it, but that was so much fun, uh, even though it was pretty rough. And that, that was really my mistake for, uh, let me just get us up a little bit it's here. And I do have um, Echoes of Power with Magical Training. And I think uh, probably uh, somebody with a lot of you know past lives might look at that feat selection and say that you never want to take Magical Training on a Paladin. But, um, wow, I, you know, I mean, I couldn't imagine having less hit points and not having this, you know, because I could at least do my cure, cure serious, right, on Echoes of Power. So it's pretty helpful. Um, and then there's an epic ability that will make it even better. I just want to get myself up enough that I'll, fully sh I'll be able to fully uh, get my spell hit points back when I shrine. All right, so this should be good. No traps in this puzzle. So yeah, I should have probably done that boss fight. It's kind of like long, I, don't, I want to skip it, but on heroic boss fights are nothing compared to epic. All right, looks like it's a short version of this puzzle. A deep rumbling sound reverberates from the courtyard. The gate to the tower is now open. All right, so while I'm shrining, um, basically we have uh, a path up with two rooms. I'm gonna try to draw back partial rooms at a time into the hallway. Uh, if there's a Reaper, that usually disturbs those plans, um, but I'm gonna try it. And then once we clear those two rooms, we get a shrine again, and then we're at the end fight. So the end fight here, um, it's pretty tough. The boss hits pretty hard. Uh, she phases in and out, and then there's a bunch of Abishai that protect her. The Abishai aren't too bad. Uh, there's some flying Abishai, so I might have to use my bow on those. Um, the, the rooms coming up are a little bit dangerous because, you know, especially if there's a Reaper and some champions, it's just, you know, big mobs like we had here. So that turned out not to be so bad with that Famine Reaper, but... All right, I'm gonna have her give me some spell points back just in case she dies again. Yeah, so probably, you know, like one option it takes a little longer would be to come this way first, go that way as far as you can and then come back and shrine whenever you need to. Because this next shrine, spell points is not usually a problem. It's really just this shrine where it's the issue. And I sort of miscalculated uh, on that a little bit. Um, all right, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to just back up. We got two trolls on. We have their attention. Three trolls, and they're hitting hard. I'm going to. All right, I got two of them. That's good. That's a win. All right, and so let's see what. Let's survey out the room. A little bit. We've got nothing on this side. And we've got some casters there. They're pretty tough. Um, I've had on that caster, you know, that caster could like kind of one shot you with some things. So I'm going to, my holy retribution is almost up. Didn't get the typhling adapt, but got the champion at least. And this is probably the easier of the two rooms. The trolls, if there's like three champions, could be really tough. All right, so that's room number one. Room number two is up here, and I usually like to kind of draw them back as best I can. And usually what I do is I kind of go here, get their attention from those Abishai, come down here, and hopefully that's just half the room, you know. Fortunately, I didn't do get any of them, but all right. But they weren't too bad. All right, so that should be this half of the room, and then we have this half of the room. All right, here they come. Yeah, 
that's a lot easier. If you get both, if you charge a room, that's a really tough fight. But taking half a room at a chance or at a time, that's not too bad. All right, so there should be no fighting up here. This is just a shrine, and uh, you can't drag the boss up here. If you drag the boss up here, the boss resets. Um, so I guess we might as well shrine. Seems like kind of a waste. But yeah, so you can see I, I should have probably cleared the other shrine first and then just went back whenever I needed it. And I would have had plenty of spell points to get here. So I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i note that for next time. Uh, let's And so if you drag the boss up here, the boss will reset. Uh, the people call it stop signing. Um, and so we don't want to do that. But we want to, you know, if it's looking rough, I probably want to get close enough to the... high enough on the staircase that I can run up here and hit the shrine. Now, that's assuming it doesn't close. It might actually close. Okay, Plague Reaper. Bad news. So let's get Emperor these guys up here. I definitely want to do the Plague Reaper fight up here. All right, so that stun really helped a lot on that Reaper. All right, so I'm going to get the staircase first. She hasn't really noticed me yet. This side, Got two enemies down here. And then uh, here they come. So I'm going to come up here and try to fight these guys. I don't care if she stops sign now, she's at full. But I'm going to try to get these guys up here and. I, you know, like I said, no big deal if she stops signs. Up here. And I'm going to get a good feel for... So I think she... Did she stop sign or did she disappear? I can't tell if she stopped signed or disappeared. So let's just wait and see. All right, so let's go down and see if she's down there. There she is. So yeah, she's she stop signed, but that's fine. I'd rather have her without all those enemies. And let's see how she is. All right, she's hitting pretty hard. Hit me for 60, you know, a hit. Okay. So now we're going to get these Abishai's. Watch for, we want to watch for Reapers here. I don't see any. I see a champion there. Let's try to get them over here. Get them grouped up as best we can. We All right, so the boss is coming. That's Iron's dead. So I'm going to try to get Iron raised and then head up the stairs a little. All right. And again, I'm not too worried if the boss resets. I'm more worried about failing the quest. And let me get the hireling up here so I can get some heals. I definitely need some heals. Whoop, I'm healing Iron. Iron's not healing me. Incapacitated. She did not throw. Oh, there she. She why throw a little heal? There we go. All right, so now now I'm going to jump down. I don't want the boss to reset. I can avoid it. Oh, Iron's dead. Bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Okay, let me get Iron back up. Oh, there she is. All right. 
gonna jump down. Ooh, wow, she nailed Iron. All right. Okay, that's good. And where's she at? So she's at about half. She's hitting me pretty hard, but not like nothing I'm too worried about. And we're gonna get some blue Abishai next. And I'm tempted to just pretty much just okay, there it is. So blue Abishai, gotta bow them or try to draw them down a little bit, one or the other. Ooh, a Reaper. So I need to go up here. I need to go up here and be safe. Bring the hireling up here. And again, I'm not too worried about the. I'm not too worried about the boss. If the boss resets, we'll deal with it. Okay, that's enough. Carnage Reaper down. Blue Abishai. Never fought a Blue Abishai that way before. All right, let's hope the uh, let's hope the boss didn't reset. Nope. So I'm gonna take the boss down first, and then I'm gonna deal with the uh, with the mobs. All right, let me get these. But the Arenides delayed you while the Devil Leader escaped to the Prime Material Plane. Eratrakos and his followers now threaten Eberron. Unfortunately, uh, my range is not great, but that's really all I have to work with when they're in the air. Let me at least renew my buffs. Let's see. They're, they're, well, if they're up there, I'm going to leave them alone. Let's see what we have. There's a pretty cool action you can get here from epic levels. Got a throwing star. That's probably going to get fed to my epic weapon. I'm glad, glad this one came down. This one did too. Alright, so let's take a look at how much epic XP we have. Um, 354, and it looks like I, I couldn't remember if I died or not. I guess I didn't die. I hardly died a bunch. But it took a while, 36 minutes. That's pretty typical for this quest. 200 enemies, so it's a... Um, so I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to recall out and get the end reward. Alright, so... Nothing... Too useful there. It's actually interesting for a uh, cleric. All right, so I'm just going to grab something to break down for essences, and that is the Devil's Detail on Reaper One Skull.